Hey, what's going on guys? Applepy Tech here, and today we're going to be doing my final thoughts and the first build of the AMD Threadripper CPUs. Let's get into the video after the intro. Okay guys, so um, today we're going to be doing an a voiceover, so I'm doing a voiceover right now in Adobe Edition. And you guys are kind of seeing a gameplay in the background, so you're, you're going to be seeing me destroying a bunch of noobs in, in, in Overwatch like you are seeing right now. I hope you guys like this kind of type of videos because I'm going to be doing more PC builds. Today I'm going to be putting a lot more effort in my videos, and from now on I'm going to be trying to do more uh, professional looking video. Give this video a like and share the video and subscribe if you guys think it's good. And I'm going to be improving over time, so... I'm gonna be doing regular regular builds and videos like this sometimes if I figure out a good way to do it. Let's jump into the video. So first, we got an AMD Threadripper 1920X, 3.5 gigahertz, 12 core processor with 24 threads. Yes, I have school in two days. Better get my math started. <laughs> Better kick my brain back from gaming into math and science and language arts. And uh, I don't want to go back to school. Leave a like if you don't want to go back to school. This is the new CPU from AMD. This is their enthusiast line, so this matches up with Bravo E and Skylake X and KB Lake X and the Core i9. That's why it's called AMD Threadripper <coughs> Horizon Threadripper R9. So right now on Amazon, it is pre available for pre-order for $799, not including tax or shipping, depending on which one you get. So this. CPU is a 12 core processor, so it is the lower, it's in the mid range of Threadripper. There is going to be an, a 1900X, which is basically 1800X, but worth the price more because it has 64 PCIe lanes instead of 2024. 20, and you pay $200 more for all of that, and I just personally think that's a better choice than going with the 1800X. I think the 17 and 1700X are good for Ryzen 7, and then 1800X is kind of the CPU that doesn't have a home where a lineup is. That's called, that should be like the R7M, Ryzen 7 Misfit. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting off. Um, this CPU is really, really good. Base 12 core because this is the price of roughly an 8 core. If you were to get like a 9 core, this is what it would be from Intel. So in order to cool that, we have here an Arctic Liquid Freeze 360 74 CFM Liquid CPU Cooler. That's a, that's more words than the actual Threadripper CPU itself here on PC Part Picker. Now this cooler is, a, is one of the really good Ace Tech coolers here. So, it's a 360mm, so it's got three 120s, and Arctic was the only one on PC part picker that was a 360. There's just the NZXT Kraken. So, for the motherboard to stick that huge CPU inside of, we got an ASRock X399 Tai Chi ATX TR4 motherboard, priced at $339.99 at Newegg with a $10 meal and rebate. Oh, I forgot to say the price of the Arctic Liquid Freeze. All the Ace Tech 360 millimeter coolers are give or take a couple couple dollars. So this one's $120. Um, for memory, uh, you want to have for Ryzen all of the AMD Ryzen series from Ryzen 3 1200X to Ryzen Threadripper 1950X. That's the highest 16 core CPU at the time of this recording. Uh, you want the fastest RAM you can get because in that basically will allow the thread ripper to kind of go faster so i got g skill trident z 16 gigs of 4x4 quad channel ddr4 3200 memory priced at 160 bucks on amazon so that's just like a base of what i would get for the 12 cores you can go 32 gig <clears throat> it's up it's up to you you're the one buying the computer if you decide to buy it so for the storage, we're going solid state and the good old spinny spinny disk drive. So we got for the solid state drive boost boot drive. Um, for this budget, I'm not going NVMe, but you guys should go NVMe. I would suggest 500 gigs if you're doing 
a, a high core count at least for solid state boot drive because you got all your programs on there and then you can store your files on there while you're while you're doing all this i have this exact hard drive in this computer right now so i have premiere i have all the things that i do um mainly i have those on the ssd and then i have a four terabyte and a two terabyte two terabytes for steam and then the four terabyte is for everything else so guys sorry to interrupt this recording really quickly but i forgot to list the solid state drive i was too busy talking about my own computer which i shouldn't have put in there but i put it in there anyway but i got a solid state drive so that is the samsung 850 evo 500 gig and that's just to put all your programs in and that's around 180 dollars so let's go back into the video so for the main spinny spinny spin drive it's three and a half inch seagate barracuda it is roughly 20 bucks more than the one terabyte wd blue so i went for the two terabytes so that gives you an extra bit of room for whatever you want i you probably won't be doing gaming on this unless it's you know minecraft because you know, Minecraft and Ashes of the Singularity are all CPU bound. So, yeah, all your 12 cores will just destroy all them games. Um, so for the video card, I'm going with uh, Asus GeForce GTX 1080 8GB ROG Strix video card. I'm going with 1080 for this build because I feel like the 1070 is, is okay. But for the rendering, you're going to want a little bit more... A little bit more power but for the 1080 ti it's 780 bucks so you can save 210 dollars by going with a 1080 because you guys might not need enough video memory since you got all those cores so for the case we're going with the corsair 270r atx bid tower case so this is a 70 dollars instead of the 60 dollars because it's got it comes with the little uh side panel i'm not sure what the side panel actually is it might be i don't think it's tempered glass i think it's probably acrylic the tempered glass cases are over 150 bucks so for the power supply we got roswell hive 750 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular atx power supply jeez louise so this is 70 dollars it's from outlet pc and that's a good price for a 750 watt power supply because some 650 watt power supplies are are going for more than that. The one that I bought is a Corsair R RM 750X and it's fully modular, gold, 80 plus gold. So uh, that's roughly thirty dollars more than this one. So there's no optical drive. It doesn't come. I don't have the pricing in for Windows of this PC. You you know you can get Windows by your own means if you're okay not having uh customizability features. Total build cost. Drum roll. Twenty three hundred and fifty four dollars and eighteen cents. This is cheaper than the build that I'm doing right now. That's hilarious. The build right now is closer to three. Because I love Asus. Asus, if you're out there, hashtag sponsor me, please. Because I would love to do a build that's Asus inspired. Because my laptop is Asus. My brother's laptop is Asus. My entire build is Asus. That can be Asus. My keyboard and mouse are not Asus. But when they die, I'm going over to Asus. My headset's Astro's. I'm going over to Asus once these things go out. So, yeah, kind of like an Asus fanboy now that I think about it. Uh, wh whatever. Um, this will fluctuate, fl fl fluctuate as the price, as this will fluctuate a little bit as the CPUs comes out and then the motherboard will come out. But everything else is available right now, so you guys can might as well start buying some of this as this video goes up. So, yeah. But anyway, hope you guys like this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is a little bit of a different video, so I'm just dipping my foot into the water. I'm not paying anybody to edit it. I'm just uh, Terry's a friend of mine, so he's just doing the social media lower thirds around this video somewhere anyway um please share this video because it really really does help me it helps me grow the channel it helps me it helps me get out there to maybe do some stuff um yeah this chair is broken that i'm sitting in
the, the <laughs> go on my Twitter and you guys can see that. Uh, links for everything are be down below. This has been Apple Pie signing off. Video coming up Monday, uh, maybe depending on how much homework I have. It's, the first day of school is usually just like. Here, take this form and give it to your parents, like, inside it in case you break anything in the science lab. Well, here, here, this is your syllabus for math. Take it to your teachers and your parents, I mean, um, and have them find it. So in case you break your own graphing calculator, they can replace it. Uh, yeah, here, this is a PE form, so you can find that if you have a heart attack. I don't know. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed, um, enough making fun of stuff, and, maybe canon or, canon like or coffee like video coming soon, um, yeah, peace out, guys.